good morning on a sunny Saturday morning. Walking past the Witches Hotel. Oh no. The plan today is to walk from Newquay. We finished yesterday at the Headland Hotel, otherwise known as the Witches Hotel, Bistral Beach. And now we're going to walk all the way to Perrinforth to catch the bus back. Came here with the whole family a few years back and had a lovely meal here, watching the sunset, fond memories. Right, if you want to park here all day, you need to have deep pockets. Off we jolly well go. Gannel River crossing various. If the tide is out, which we hope it's going to be. We're going to go the official route and cross the Gannel. Left? Yes. Well, we just see some pretty flowers, but we'll see the beach. There it is. Very pretty day. Sunny, delightful morning. That's where we're heading first thing this morning. It is now leaving Fistral Beach. It's almost 10 o'clock. So Fistral Beach is famous and well known for surfing and they hold regular surfing competitions here. In fact, our nephew, Andrew. Hi, Andrew, if you're watching this regularly comes here to surf. It's a great spot. Right, we've spotted a signpost. So to find that postal sign, you need to get to Penmere Drive to get to this sign. So according to the guide, there's four ways getting across here. The official way is by crossing it when it's low tide, which we're now going to do. Can't remember the other three ways. The other ways are the ferry, the boardwalk, walking all the way around on the main road. If you walk all the way around, you add an extra four miles apparently. I'll add it to the description. If I was you, check the tide times, because this without a shadow of a doubt is the easiest way. Three hours either side of low tide you can get across here. So today low tide is at 12 o'clock. It's 20 past 10 now and as you can tell it is just about passable. We didn't plan it this way. This just happened to have fallen into our lap the right way. signs. We're heading towards Crantock. That's where we came from. The official route everybody. Tide waits for no man. Planet. Like, like we does. <laughs> That's safe, isn't it? 
I'd pack the board there if it was. If I had one. Yeah, one if I had one. And two if it was here, it looks quite safe. This is opened up now. Coming back out to the estuary and the beach. Look at that. Crikey. People have already set up their windbreaks for the day. If you live there, you have a great view of Crontop Beach. We've come out at Crontop Beach Car Park. Fourth joke, one and three quarter, and Holywell Bay, three and a half miles. And that's us. We're walking on that. You are here, and we're going along there. West Pentire. This way. Absolutely beautiful. There are no other words I can use. Glorious day. Great path. Happy place. Nothing better than getting outside for a nice long walk. Seagulls nesting. In the natural habitat. Instead of trying to pinch for people's chips. <laughs> in the coastal towns. Looks a lovely place here. We carry on. Right, just beyond this cove, we'll be getting to Holywell Bay. This bay is called Porth Joke. We're heading for that footbridge because then it'll be taken us along there towards Holywell Bay. Squeeze through. This place also goes by the name of Polly Joke. Holywell two miles. An outcrop with some stunning views. From here we can see where we've walked from. We started about 10ish. It's now 20 past 12. And somewhere behind me, in that direction, is Holy Well Bay. We've done just over five miles so far. From up here we can now see the Hedden Hotel poking its head over the coastal path. And here we have Holy Wall Bay. We have been here a few times. And this is where I asked Elaine to marry me. Oh, how many years ago? When life was so uncomplicated. We had no mobile phones. No mobile phones, no Wikipedia, no internet. No downloads. Yes, gosh. <laughs> and watch whatever was on the television and all go to the blockbusters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> blockbusters. Remember blockbusters? Yeah. Well, the tide's out. Should we do some caving? Holy well, Bay. We are taking a slight diversion down to the beach. We're going down to Holy Well Cave. So we're going to find a well nearly at the bottom. 
Right, where's this cave? Gotta look out for jellyfish on the floor. Luckily we're wearing our boots. That's a tiny jellyfish. Ooh. Cave should be just around here somewhere. You don't like caves, then, are they? No. Going in by myself. Holywell Cave, or St Cuthbert's Cave, is hidden away at the far end of Holywell Beach and is only accessible at low tide. This is a natural cave, carved out by the action of the waves. The striking walls, with its many colours, are formed by seeping fresh water full of minerals, dripping down and forming stalactites. Every time we come to Hollywell Beach Bay, Hollywell Bay, we just have to write in the sand. It's the law. <laughs> Until the next time then. Yeah. So we're at the back of Hollywell Bay. We've done a tad over seven miles and it's quarter past one in the afternoon. We've been going at a steady pace. Crantock Beach is now three miles behind us and from here to get to Perrinporth, our final destination, is another four miles. I don't know if you can make out on this stone but there's your acorn slightly to the left and if we're going to go to the beach slightly to the right. Right, so we walk around here, Penhale Point, come down to Ligger Point, and then we'll be on Perham Beach before we get into Perham Port. Perham Port. Perfect. Where our journey ends. <laughs> Occasionally you come across places that are so out of place with your surroundings. This is one of them. So in the far distance, way right over there, is Perrin Beach. It's probably still three miles away. It's like very old army barracks of some sort. I don't think anyone's been here for a fair few years. Okay, still going the correct way. Wow, look at that. Coastal path this way. This is actually overkill. One, two, and three. Please keep the way marked there. <laughs> this is Perham Beach. That is a large beach. Yeah. He got the bench. <laughs> he got the bench. Right, we've got to get down and walk the length of that beach before the tide comes in. It's 
it's about half past two now and high tide is about seven o'clock in the evening so we've got plenty of time see people going down that very st steep well what looks like a very steep path that's where we'll join the beach tide is coming in but we're getting closer to where we need to be hopefully we won't need to swim the final stretch Perrinporth is just around the corner Perrinporth looks busy I'm just blowing a whistle over there, not heeding to the rules. Wonder where we've got to go to to catch a bus. From Perrinporth, catch a bus back to Newquay. We'll do the scores on the doors when we get to the bus stop. And yeah, you're right, colouring in. We like colouring in. Well, Elaine likes colouring in. And I like seeing the map being coloured in. The more it gets coloured in, the more the path we've done. Do you have the schools on the doors? I can show you we walked 11.89 in 4 hours 32 moving time and we've enjoyed View stops, photograph stops. So, yeah, total time five hours forty three. Thought you weren't coming. <laughs> this morning we woke up from our hotel, got straight on the coast path. And we walk down to Holywell Bay, all the way into Perrinpore. This is another nice stretch of path. The beach at Perrinpore was amazing. Perrin Sands probably lasted two miles. And that's where we finished. So we have one section to complete now. Troublesome bus journey on this one. There's three buses to get from Porth Reef to Perrinpore, so we may have to get a taxi to do that stretch of it's going to take us two hours and we always like to have the sea on our right so we've got to start at Perrinporth and finish at Portree but look oh just fill that little gap just fill that little gap and then we're almost officially halfway although we will be halfway because we've done all of that and all of that just need to join in the dots <laughs> 